We're going to talk today about how to introduce your dog to row crop for the first time. So if you plan on doing any dry field hunting uh, in corn or beans, you'll want to get out and actually work your dog in that before you go out and hunt them in it for the first time. It's tricky with corn because you've got a limited time to do it. Usually once the corn gets out, you're, you're within a couple weeks of the season opening up. So you want to look for those opportunities to get your dog out and actually work them in row crop before you go out and hunt. So we've got a dog with us today that's never seen a cornfield before. So what we're gonna do is just introduce her to this scent and this kind of cover slowly and just introduce her to this so that she gets a feel for how to work this kind of cover. And the best way to do that is if your dog has already learned the hunt command is just pull out a tennis ball and just work her in this corn on a tennis ball first just to introduce her to the cover and the scent this corn stubble puts off. So we've got our tennis ball out. We're just gonna to toss this out and do a little hunt command with her. Ask her to look for it. Hello. And you can see there's a lot here that she's gotta navigate, but the main thing is we want that nose down looking for that scent. There, good girl, good girl. So the next step here, now that we've got her nose down on the ground and able to work this kind of cover is to actually set up a trailing memory. And the easiest way to do this for the first time is actually set it up in a row of corn where she can see it and just run down the row. Okay, so we're just gonna set this trailing memory up. It doesn't have to be very far at first, just a few yards. And we want her to see this trailing memory. So either use a bright white bumper or a bumper with a piece of white tape on the top. We want them to see it, that's important. Oh, back. Good, so that went well. So now we're gonna move it and actually run her across these rows. This is going to be a little bit more difficult because it's not going to be as easy to see, but what we're looking for here is, does she line out and do what we're asking her to do? So we'll just set this up as well. Black. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. So now we've got her introduced to the corn. She did a hunt command for us, found the ball, no problem lined out for us, no problems there. So now we can actually move on and set up a couple hunting situations and uh, see how she's gonna handle that. Now that you've got your dog introduced to corn stubble, go ahead and bring out all of your gear that you're gonna use in your duck hunt. Bring out your dog blind, bring out your field decoys, go ahead and set it up like an actual hunt and go ahead and run some retrieves just to make sure your dog understands what you're asking them to do. So we've got our dog blind out, We've got our field decoys out. We're gonna go ahead and set up a couple trailing memories in this corn, and we will run her out of the dog blind through the decoys and just check all this and make sure that we don't have any issues that we need to fix before we got on that first hunt in cornfield. Peel. Good girl, inside. Now we've got our dog in our dog blind. Now we're actually just gonna run her on this trailing memory. Hold back. Good girl, good. Dead. No problem there, she was able to traverse the corn so we didn't see any issues. So I'm just gonna run this one more time and make sure that that all is set. Good, now we've got our trail of memory set up so we'll go ahead and line her out of the dog blind. Hold back. Good, no problem, no problem there. Looks good. Dead. Good girl, good. And the last thing we'll do here is just go ahead and fire a mark. Mark. Drew. Good girl, good. Dead, good girl. And all that went pretty well. I didn't see any issues there. She's able to handle the cover. She's able to handle the, the rows, so no issues there. We could feel pretty confident that we could take her out on a dry field hunt and uh, have some success with our dog.